Hello, Wonder Kid friends. This is Miss Connie. I am here today at the North Carolina Museum of Art. It is a museum that's located in Raleigh, and there are so many things for us to see. I know this week we've been talking about our moods, and art can make you feel so many different ways. Art can make you feel happy, it can make you feel sad, it can make you feel confused, it can make you feel mad. So, so many things. We're gonna go take a tour around the museum and look at some of the different art. So, here's a piece of art that I checked out. It looks like it has lots of rainbows in it and different geometrical shapes there. This art is called Rock 2 and it was made over 40 something years ago. So what do you feel when you see this piece of art? I feel happy. Do you feel happy? Here's another piece of art. This is called the Light of Life. It has lots of colors and movement. It goes light and dark. Almost feels at times like a disco ball or something. How do you feel when you see this? To me, it feels mysterious. It makes me feel curious, maybe. Like, what is that? It feels fun because it's different. So many different emotions can come out of this one. And I found this piece of art. His name is Saul. Looks like he is a ruler and a king of a throne, which means he has many jobs to do. What do you think he's feeling there? Looks like he's thinking. Looks like he might be upset. He might even be mad. What do you think? I found this piece of art. It's of kids playing. When you play, how does that make you feel? When you get to play with your friends, or maybe your brothers and sisters, or your cousins, or even mom and dad, how do you feel? Here's a painting of a family. Looks like there's a baby, a mommy and a daddy, and the sisters, and little brother, and even their doggy. You see the dog there? How do you think this family might be feeling? Do you think they're happy? Are they looking sad? Which one do you think? Here's a painting that I found. It's called The Denial of St. Peter by Gerard Seggers. And looks like in this painting, what do you think they might be feeling? I feel like there's a lot of surprise going on. Look at their eyes and how big they got. They're like, what? Huh? Check out this tree, boys and girls. As you can see, it's not a real tree. It's actually a sculpture. Looks like it's made of some kind of metallic material. What does that make you feel just now when I showed you that this tree is not a real tree? I found this sculpture outside. Take a look. What do you think this lady is feeling? She looks sad to me. Do you think she looks sad? Here's another piece of art that I found. It's called Fragile Seven. And it was made by someone named Edi Kamunga Lunga, who is from Africa. And looking at this picture, it's lots of color, but what do you notice more, notice more so with their emotions going on here? I feel like they're tired. Do you think they're tired? So I just wanted to show you guys some of this. This is called the Divinely Regal in West Africa. And these guys, these little statues, they're holding more people. What do you think they're feeling? I bet they're tired, maybe, because they're holding these people on top. We're gonna walk over here, see some more of the artwork from the West Africa area. And maybe you can think about some of the emotions that you're feeling as I show you this. 
a lot around here. There's a face mask. Just like some of us have to wear right now. So take a look, I found this right here. You see this giant shark? Well, this is actually worn on people's head in Africa. And the reason they wear it is because it is considered a blessing for the season and hopes that they're gonna catch more fish. So if you take a look over here, it shows you someone actually wearing it in that country. Can you see it there? I found this piece of art is called Mami Wata. And this little girl or lady it might be is holding a snake. Do you see it there? So what do you think she's feeling? Or how do you feel when you see a snake? Does it make you happy? <laughs> Does it make you sad? How about scared? I know some people are scared of snakes, but some people actually like them. What do you think her emotion is right now with this snake? Look at this pretty cool tree. It's an image that's moving. Let's see what it is. So, it's by Jennifer Steinkamp, and this lady is actually from California. She's trying to show us the cycle of trees. If you look carefully, the colors keep changing on it. At one point, we thought it was pink, right? And now it looks like it's turning green. I wonder if it change some more. Let's wait and see. Look now, the leaves are beginning to turn brown. Just like at home, right? In the fall, the leaves turn not only brown, but you'll see them turn orange and sometimes yellow. Just before they get ready to fall off the tree for winter. And now this tree has moved into winter. Just like I said, there's no more leaves on the tree or maybe just a few here and there. In the winter, it usually turns very cold. Not so much here in North Carolina though, not like the cold that might be up north in places in New York and Ohio and places like that. But it does get cold for us. So there's no more leaves on the tree. And then we just have to wait for those leaves to come back in the spring. Take a look at these statues. These are all along the walls here, looking down to the bottom of this museum. When you're up high like this, how do you feel? Are you afraid of heights? Like being up high? What's your emotion when you are up high like this? This boys and girls is an art piece by Rama Dia. And she is from Senegal, which is in Africa. Looks like she's wearing a really pretty dress. How does it make you feel? Wow, look at this sculpture. All of this is made of wood and paint. How does it make you feel when you see this? I feel curious. Oh, what about this one? Look at how the art comes out at you. Looks like they use something called 3D. It's almost within reach. I hope boys and girls that you enjoyed our tour of the museum today and that you got to learn some new things and see some pretty cool art to help teach you a little bit more about our emotions, those things that might make us feel happy or sad or mad or confused or tired, so many things that we feel and that it's okay to feel these things. All of us feel this way sometimes and that's what makes us human. I hope that you have a great day. Bye-bye.